Something smells good in here. You learn from the best. Sweetheart, how is John doing? I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? Didn't you guys go out last night? No. I went out with Vera. Vera again? Grace, are you a lesbian? Mom? No! Well, you're hanging out way too much with that girl. I think it's time you settle down. Nothing like that is going to happen until I finish school. Well, you just graduated in spring. And you're 28 years old. Come on. Hello? Hey. Are you busy? Just having breakfast with the fam. Tell mom and dad I say hi. Sissy says hi. Oh, I guess you forgot about your parents. No. I've just been busy. Yes, we know. Love you, baby. Grace, take me off speakerphone. Okay. What is going on? You know the least you can do is call them. I know. I need to get better about that. Grace, I'm kind of in a situation and I need your assistance. What is it? I'm not going to make any promises. I've been dating this guy for six months. What? You're married. What guy? You don't know him. And I want to keep it that way. I don't want to get involved. Grace, please. I never asked you for anything. What do you want me to do? I need you to trade places with me for five days. No. I don't even know where you're going with this. I need you to come to my house and pretend to be me. That's never going to work. What if Drew wants sex? That is the least of your worries. I have that boy on a schedule. We only have sex on the green days. I'll be home way before then. Look, there's numbers inside the cabinet and you have my cell phone if you need me. So you planned this already? It was kind of last minute, but I need your help. I'm sorry, I can't help, I have to work. I'll pay you 50 grand. Half now, half later. Are you bribing me? Is it working? No. Grace, are you getting ready for church? Yes. Murphy, I have to go. Please think about it. I can be your friend, I can be your lover I promise you that you will never find another All you ever need is me You ready, buddy? Hey, I'm ready, man. Let's get it. Marcy, how you doing today? Good, I'm excited. Oh yeah, you should be. Hey, I got someone for you guys to meet. Tatiana. Hey, this is my buddy Drew, and this is his wife, hey, Mercy, and this is hey. Tatiana. Man, let's get in this boat, man. Let's hit the water. Y'all want something to drink? I got that good stuff. Yes, sir. I will take a lot of that. Right? That's what like I'm that. talking about. Definitely. Come on, big boss. Thank you. Yes. Who's calling? Mama. And why did you hang up? I don't want to deal with her right now. What's your mother? I know. I love her. I just don't want to deal with her right now. Speaking of, are you aware that we've been married for four years and I've never met your family before? Yes. I know it looks bad, but you'll thank me in the long run. What could be so bad? You know I never say anything and you don't want to wear our rings. You know how I feel about these topics. I mean, it's been so long. I mean, I deserve to know them. 
Do you have siblings? Yes. No. Who cares? Me, apparently. No. The only thing that you should care about is putting those lips in me. This conversation is not over. Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's not. Take it for two. All right, right this way. Awesome, thank you. Thank you, man. Are you ready to order, sir? Uh, no, I'm actually waiting for my girlfriend. Can you do me a favor? Yes. Can you uh, take this and bring me whenever you bring dessert? Thank Anything you. else? No, I'll be fine. Thank you. All right. Fifteen thousand. Hey, Mercy. If that offer is still on the table, I'll accept it. What made you have a change of heart? I don't qualify for student loans, and I really need that money in order to graduate by spring. Great. I will tell Ben right away. I leave in two days. I'll leave you instructions. How are you doing? You look amazing. And you weren't my favorite girl. <laughs> so? So my sister accepted the offer. Oh, that's great. Uh, I, I promise you won't be disappointed. Hello? Hey, babe. How are you doing? I'm fine. What time are you coming home tonight? Why? Is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. I just miss my wife. I miss you too. I was wondering if we could uh, go out for dinner tonight and start in. No, I'm not with the girls. Go ahead without me. I think we need to rekindle. For the last past month or so, you've been distant. Did I do something wrong? No. We talked about this. Okay, I've got to go. All right, I love you. I love you too. Okay, bye. Can you put your phone on? That was true. We've got to stop this. Stop? Stop what? This. Drew is a great guy, and I feel really bad for doing this to him. You know, this was supposed to be fun. Fun? So, whenever you told me you love me, you were just playing? No, that's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? Are you guys ready to order? No. Do I need to come back later? No, I'm starving. I'll have the same choice. I'll have the same. All right. Anything else to drink? No. Water's fine for me. 
Let me get your strongest alcoholic beverage, please. You got it. Mercy, I love you. I love you too. But this is wrong. Look, just just go on a trip with me, and if you're not feeling it, I promise I won't pressure you. I'll let you go. Five days. Uh, that's all I need. Okay. Here you guys go. Be careful, it's hot. Thank you. I don't think I can eat another bite. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm gonna get you any dessert. Oh no, I am so full. Uh, actually, we'll have the chunky cake. Okay. Baby, I am full. How am I gonna fit into these dresses? Oh, girl, you look good. Don't worry about that. It's just one slice of cake, you'll be okay. One slice, you know I have no self-control, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. You're so bad. Oh my gosh. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I don't know what to say. Just say that you love me. You only want me. I love you. <laughs> oh my god. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, are you all packed up? No, not yet. Well, you only got two days left. Well, one. Today's already over. Do you know what time it is? Yes, it's, uh, 8.45. What time did you get in last night? I don't remember. Are you drinking again? True. It's too early for this. I want to talk to you about something. Where are you going? I have a conference in Atlanta. I'm giving a speech. And when were you going to tell me this? I was trying to tell you last night. It was a last minute thing. Okay. Be safe. Alright. Love you. I love you, Mercy. And I just want the best for our marriage. I love you too. You don't have anything to worry about. I've just been tired, that's all. There is a change in you. You've been acting different lately. Do you love me? True. I do love you. I've just been really stressed lately with my new business. Baby, I told you. You're choosing to do this. The day I marry you, I told you. You don't have to work anymore. I know. But this is something I've wanted to do for a very long time. I can understand. How about we go on a trip? You can pick anywhere you choose. Okay. But next week. This week I have so many meetings. Okay, that's fine. I love you. I love you too. And I promise, after this week, everything's gonna change. Okay. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Alright.
morning, beautiful. Good morning. Have you started packing yet? I'm packing now. Make sure you pack that white bathing suit. Okay. Oh, wait. Aren't you on your cycle? I should be starting soon. Hold on. Ben. Yeah. Remember that night we got drunk and had sex? Yeah, I remember. Did you wear a condom? Nah, you told me to take it off, remember? I was drunk. Why would you do that? You my queen, you my world. You know I do everything you tell me to do. Wait, are you pregnant? I don't know yet, but I will get myself tested. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I hope you are because I'm gonna be really happy. I'm gonna be the best dad ever, you know? No. Then I am married. I can't have a baby. What are you what are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. I'll be there in a few minutes. I need to talk to you. Okay, Ben. Hello? Gracie. Hey, I'm almost finished packing. Drew just left for the day. He'll be back late tonight, and I was wondering if you could come over soon. I thought you were leaving tomorrow. Change of plans. I want to leave today. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Look, there's a list in the closet, left-hand shelf. There's also emergency phone there for you, too. Okay. Oh, and a 25 grand. Okay, I'll be there. Will you be there? No. There's a key under the mat, and my alarm code is 5966, address 001 Royal Court Street. Can you send me a picture of Drew? Yes, I can when I get off the phone. I'm scared. What if he finds out? He's not going to find out. He doesn't even know who you are. He doesn't even know I have a twin. Wow. You really kicked us out of your life, huh? I will text you the rest of the information. Look, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I gotta go. Big man, what's up? Looking sharp. What's going on, man? You want with the fire? <laughs> How you doing, man? Yeah, so you ready for this? Uh, I ain't even sure, man. I got a little something prepared. Oh, shit. I know what that means. We're going to be up there for about an hour. I wrote a long speech, so that should do. Well, let's kill it. Agent yes, sir. Atlanta, Security here we come, baby. I know, right? Oh, that's us. Plane. Let's get out of here. Driving license. I'm sorry for stopping in like this. Oh, you are fine. So I have your results. Okay, I hope I'm not pregnant. Well, our tests are 99.9% .9 accurate. You're two weeks pregnant. I take it this wasn't planned. No, this is Ben's baby. Wow. Well, I mean, at least the baby's gonna be really cute. This is not fun. I'm sorry, I know. I'm trying to ease the stress here. I've got to get rid of this baby. No. What are you talking about? You love Ben? Just leave Drew. No! I love Drew!
What if he wants to have sex with her? <laughs> no. Our sex week is next week anyway. So you've got him on the schedule. So you've got it made? Yeah. Well, are you sure this is going to work? Yes. I mean, we're identical. Drew doesn't even know I'm a twin. Well, it sounds like you've got it all planned out. You know what? I've got to go. I will talk to you very soon. Thank you. Well, good evening. How may I help you today? Hi, I'm here to see T. Um, I'm sorry it's late and we're only taking appointments at this moment. Uh, I have one. You do? What is your name? Grace Cole. Grace Cole. Okay. Mm. All right. <laughs> Miss Grace Cole. Okay. Come on. Right this way. Good one. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hey, T, your next appointment, Grace is here. Hey, Grace, how you doing? Hello. So you want a complete makeover, huh? Yes. You have any ideas? I do. Okay, I can do that. Do you think you can have it done by 10? You have a hot date or something? No, I just... I want to do it before my husband gets home. Okay, honey, let me get you together then. Good morning. Wow, where's my wife? Oh, what do you mean? I've seen a lot of improvements since our last conversation. Okay. <laughs> Is everything okay? <laughs> yes, I'm just cooking. Okay. So, have you picked in a location for the trip? Uh, location? For what? The trip we talked about. Uh, no. I haven't yet. Give me some ideas. Well, it hardly matters right now. Is everything okay with you? Yes, I'm fine. You sure? your question? Yes. Are you really going to get rid of our child? Ben, I don't know what you want me to do. You know that I'm married. <laughs> yeah, but you love me. So what's the problem? I love my husband. Okay. So since you love your husband, why are you here? Ben, you knew what we were doing from the beginning. You know there could never really be anything between us, right? Right. Well, you should have thought about all that. Because that's my baby. That's my child. How could you? What do you want me to do? Is this how you're going to act? Fine. You can just take me home. You know what? That's a good idea. I'm gonna go ahead and pack your stuff now because I'm tired of your bullshit. You know, it's kind of annoying because it's like you want me, but you don't want me, and you can't make up your mind. You're really wasting my time. Unbelievable. Where is this coming from? Really? Yes. Okay. Really? Because you made a decision to get rid of that child. 
the child that we made together. And now you're making a decision yourself to get rid of her. So I'm out. And you're about to get out to unpack your stuff right now. You're ruining us. Fine. Take me home. Fine. I'm done. I'll take you. I'm done. I'll pack my own bags. Yeah, I should have known you were no good. What the fuck does that mean? Fuck that, so to me. You're trying to get rid of my child, our child. There's a whole lot about your character, bitch. Fuck you. Don't you fucking talk to yeah, me. Yeah, I should have known you were nothing but trash. Trash? Fuck you. I made the biggest fuck mistake. You. I hate you. Fuck it's you. a huge mistake. Shit. Fuck you. Ah! to the parents of Mercy. I'm the mother. I'm sorry to call with bad news. Mercy died this evening. She is you and Ken listed her as her parents. What? What? <laughs> Lift your My baby! Come on. My baby's dead! Damn it, who's dead? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Who am I speaking with? This is her, this is the father. What's what's happening? She was in a car accident. Oh my god. No! Not my baby, Jesus! No! If you could come to the station, we could discuss this further. <laughs> Alright. We'll we'll be there. I knew from the beginning that this wasn't, this wasn't right, Percy. I love you so much. We should have done things differently. <laughs> you always knew what to do what to say and I need your help. <laughs> Please tell me what to do. How do I tell? How do I tell Drew? Mercy, please help me.
Babe, is that you? Yes. Babe, are you okay? Yes, why do you ask? You look like you've been crying. Is everything okay? No, it's just my sinuses and allergies are acting up. Okay, close your eyes. I got a surprise for you. What surprise? Oh no. Oh my gosh. Drew? Come this way. Okay, stand right here mm -hmm. and do not open your eyes, all right? I'm not. Okay, open up. Babe, I'm not hungry. Mercy. <coughs> Babe, is everything okay? Yes. <coughs> you don't look that good. I'm fine. I don't think so. I'm gonna call the doctor. No, I'm fine. Babe, what's wrong with you? It's just my allergies. They're acting up. I've never seen you have allergy breakout this bad. I know. I'm kind of concerned about it. <sighs> Maybe I put on some perfume or something that didn't react well with my skin. But... It's in your face. Could it been something you have eaten? No. It's just been so strange lately. I don't understand this, you know. I just need a Benadryl. Who is that? Uh, that's Ruth. Ruth? Ruth who? You must be really sick, babe. Ruth is your best friend. Oh, no, I'm tired. I just don't want to be bothered right now. Babe, she's already here. I'm just going to let her take a look at you. Make sure you're okay. All right, I'll be right back. Here she is. Are you feeling better? I'm okay. Ruth is here to help you. So, um, Mercy, how are you feeling? I'm, I'm fine. Drew, can you give me a glass of water, please? Yes. Why are you still here? What are you talking about? I know who you are. What are you talking about? Don't act about? dumb. Mercy's dead. You've been pretending to be Mercy this whole time, living her life, driving a fancy car, big house, sexy ass man. $50,000. Well, I'll tell Drew everything. Why are you doing this? Because I want to. And you're standing in my way. Here's my number. I'm expecting a call from you. You have 48 hours to bring me my money. Really? Are you serious? Absolutely. Is everything okay? Mm-hmm. Is everything okay? Mm-hmm. I'll take the water now. Grace? Grace! John? What's up with all this? John, I'm sorry, can we talk about this later? We can talk about it now. No, now is not a good time. I'll, I'll call you later. Are, are, are you seeing someone? 
Not really. I'm doing someone a favor. Look, I really can't talk right now. I'll talk to you later. No, no. I deserve an explanation. I thought we had a thing going. Let me go. It's like you're a completely different person. I want to know what's happened to you. You wouldn't understand. John, let me go. Hey, what's going on? Why are you holding on to my wife? This is just an old friend. Did you just say your wife? Yeah, that's what I said. Is there a problem? Who is this, Grace? Grace? Who, who is Grace? <laughs> you got a lot to learn, buddy. No, I'm not leaving until... <laughs> oh! <laughs> no one has the right to touch my wife but me. Come on, let's go. Do you want to tell me what that was about? I'm just a guy I used to date a long time ago. How long ago? Uh, shortly after college, I think, but it was nothing serious. So why did he approach you like that? Because he's bipolar. I mean, that's why I broke up with him. He's known for doing stupid stuff like that. Why did he call you Grace? Uh, that's what everyone used to call me in school. Why well, you I never mentioned him before? Because it was a long time ago. Okay. Alright. <laughs> you okay, man? This is my hand, man. It's killing me. What's wrong with your hand? I hit somebody the other day. <laughs> Picking fights. Why are you following me? You know you talk too much. That's why you're still single. You know that, right? We'll let Mercy take care of that. Speaking of, how's she doing anyway? Oh man, she's doing real good. Mercy's good? Bro, are you okay? Oh man, like, I'm surprised myself. You know the other day I got home from work, she made dinner, she even cooked breakfast. It's like she's a whole new person. I mean, I understand we're both busy and stuff, you know, but I'm loving the new one. I was expecting to get to something. You got know women on her. I was expecting something. Maybe she's ready to start a family. I don't know, man. But whatever it is, I like the new one. So she stays that way. I know, right? Enough of this soap opera, let's get back to work. Alright man, let's do this. <sighs> Thank you for coming. So we go on like one date. I haven't seen you in weeks. Then you have some guy beat me up. And now you want to talk about it? Yeah. What is going on? It wasn't supposed to be like that. I didn't mean for that to happen. You know, I've got myself in this situation and I don't know what to do. You can start by telling me what the hell's going on. You know how I have a twin sister, right? Yeah, Rich. Never leaves her house. Uh, her name is Mercy, but yeah. So what about her? Well, I've been pretending to be her. Wait, so you're pretending to be with her husband? I mean, kind of, but not exactly. Oh, well, that explains why you're all luxurious. Why are you doing this? Well, I needed money, and she made a deal with me. And what happened? I... This stays between you and me. You have my word. So, I made a deal with my sister. Who is it? It's Ruth. Oh. 
Hey, Ruth. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Is Mercy home? No, she's not. Do you know when she's coming home? I'm not sure. She's at the office. So you're all alone in this big house? I guess you could say it. I like your towel. Thank you. Have you been working out? <laughs> yes. Uh, do you work out? No. Maybe you can show me some stretches. <laughs> what type of stretches are you trying to learn? Well, maybe we can start off with toe touches. No, no, no. <laughs> that won't be necessary. I'm sorry. You don't have to be afraid of me. I won't bite. Not unless you want me to. I think it's time for you to go home. Are you sure? I've never been more sure in my entire life. All right, Drew. I'll let Marcy know that you stop by. something he tried to stuff in his sack. Mrs. Claus? Mrs. Claus. Let's play. You got a text? <laughs> Who is it? Uh, it's just Ruth. I bet she won't. She's checking on me. <laughs> Do you remember that trip we, um, the trip we took to Florida? Yeah, I had a great time. What did you like the most about it? I liked it all. What did you like the most? That white dress you wore? That's real beautiful. What happened to it, though? Um, you know, it's probably around here somewhere. You know, that's been a long time. I'll find it. I gotta get ready for work. You going in today? Um, you know, I might call in late. I'm not feeling very well. Okay. a word with you? It depends. Please. <sighs> you excuse me. What the hell is your problem? Drew told me what you did last night. You didn't hold up your end of the deal. And why are you mad? He doesn't belong to you. As far as I'm concerned, He's up for grabs. Oh. Don't do dumb shit like that again. I said I'll get you your money. You better hurry, bitch. What did you just call me? Something about it? Yeah, don't tempt me. Bitch. I am sick and tired of your garbage. Ugh! I said I will get you your money. Until then, you wait. Don't pull stupid stuff like that again. Got it?
here for my wife, uh, Mercy. Okay. She's here, follow me. Okay. There you go. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You just seem a little worried. Just making sure. Well, I'm just surprised we're having lunch together. Okay. With that complete your orders? Yes, thanks. Okay, great. So, what did you get me? Chicken marsala and a glass of white wine. Is everything okay? You know, the woman I married knows I don't eat spaghetti and I don't drink wine. I'm sorry. Well, I've had a long day and I'm just not thinking straight. I'll order you something else. No, it's fine. Hey, um, remember that dress you wore to Florida? Yeah, the white one. Yeah, that one. Only, it wasn't white, it was black. And we didn't go to Florida, we went to Jamaica. You know, if, if I was crazy, I would, I would think that someone kidnapped my wife and is pretending to be her. Drew, there's something that I've never told you about my health. What is it? When I was a kid, I got in a really bad accident and I hit my head. So now I suffer from short-term memory loss from time to time and I forget things. Why haven't you told me this before? I didn't think it was that big of a deal and, you know, Ruth is helping me. I'm sorry, baby. You know, for, for a minute there, I was thinking a whole lot of things. Sorry. It's fine. Let's get you something to eat. So, should I get used to you being nice, or is it gonna change? Don't push it. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Lady Bug. <laughs> Good morning. How can I help you? Uh, yeah. Uh, is this where I deliver the packages at? Yeah, we're doing construction upstairs, but I can assist you here. Okay. Uh, yeah, because the security guard told me to come down here and give you the package. <laughs> no problem. I can take the package. Okay. Where's well, the package for uh, Gates Co? Gates Co. Okay. Yeah. I'll make sure that Murphy gets the package. All right, cool. Cool. Okay. okay. Uh, we all need anything else? Like any? You have any ongoing mail to take out? Anything like that? Uh, we don't have any. You know what? Let me double check. Let okay, me give me one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Good day, Wakanda. Look at that. Golly. Golly, it's just, just walk away like that. African drums and everything. No, oh. we don't have anything. Oh, okay. Uh. You sure? I mean, you want to take a second look just to make sure there ain't nothing no back there, you know? I'm positive. You're yeah, Frank, yeah. right? Yeah, that's my name. That's my name. But you can call me Frankie. <laughs> well, Mr. Frankie, okay, no, well, we don't have any packages for you, sorry. <laughs> you sure? I'm positive. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you sure you want to take another look just to make sure you ain't nothing back there? Because once I'm gone, you know. I'm positive that we don't have anything. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, well, I get, hey, have a good day. Thank you, Mr. Frankie. You have a good day, too. Oh, yeah, I will. What's that? You said I have a what? What's you said? That'll be it. Okay, cool. Thank All you. All right, gotcha. <laughs> Thank you uh -huh. so much. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. right. I'll make sure Mercy gets this package. Yeah, yeah, you make sure she gets it. <laughs> I sure will.
is it? It's Grace, Daddy. Open the door. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Haven't seen you in forever. You're beginning to... Thought we'd never see you again. You're beginning to be a lot like your sister. Daddy, something. Well, what are we supposed to think when we haven't seen you since your sister's funeral? Who is it, honey? I think it's our daughter. Oh, sweetie. I missed you so much. I miss you too. Oh, why is it taking you so long to come home to visit? I've just been really busy. I was afraid you would say that. Don't cry. Uh, honey. <laughs> This is exactly how it started with your sister, you know? First she would come once a month, and twice a year, and not at all. And then the last time I saw my baby, she was in the casket. Mommy, don't say that. I'll always be here for you. Mm. You know, why don't you just move back home with us? I would be so much more comfortable with you here. I know, but I'm grown up now. I have to start making decisions on my own, and. This is part of growing up. I'm sorry, I know, I know, but you know, I'm still shaking up with the death of your sister. Mm -hmm. Why don't you uh, go join Daddy and I'll get the plates. You want to do that? Oh, you're such a good daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, honey. Yeah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the food we're about to partake in and seeing the daughter that we hardly ever get to see again. Dad. Tracy. And... Yes, Dad. Something different about you. Can you explain to me why it is that you look just like your sister? Uh, well, we are identical twins. <laughs> yes, you're identical twins, right? Is that why you're dressing like her? That's the fashion now. Fashion. And when you were living here, what was that? I was throwing on clothes. Okay, so fashion is a big part of the moving to the big city and not coming home and unless you're in a box. Kenneth, stop it! I... Crazy. How are things going? Pretty good. Okay. So, how do you get the money to pay for everything? Oh, I have a really big job now. What kind of job? I'm a business consultant. Oh, we're making the big money now. Mm -hmm. Another daughter. Kenneth. So, when can we come and visit you? Don't you realize that uh, parents aren't welcome in the big city? Kenneth, seriously now. I will plan a time for you guys. I just need to take care of some things back home first. Do you have a boyfriend? No, no, no boyfriend. Whatever happened with that John guy, you know, are you guys still talking? Um, yeah, just not as much. Let me guess. That's something else you outgrew. Daddy, it's not like that. Just ignore him. Let's just eat. Come on. So I just want you to give her two pills a day by mouth. And if you have any complications, just give me a call. Okay, thank you. Do I have to take the pills? Well, the other alternative is a shot. I'm much rather take the pills in the shot. Okay, then. Okay, thank you. Come on, let's go. Okay. Thanks for calling Gates Co. How may I help you? Yes, may I speak to Mercy, please? Who's calling, please? Tell her it's her sister. Okay, hold one sec. Yes. I have your sister on line one. My sister? Okay. Put her through. Where's my money? I can't do 50. I can only do 25. That's not what we agreed on. Well, things change. You know, that's all I can do right now. Yeah, they change. I'll get back to you.
Who is it? It's Ruth. There's something I need to tell you. What's going on? There's something you need to know. Have a seat. Okay. So, what is this about, Ruth? Have you noticed anything strange about your wife lately? If you're talking about the memory loss, she already told me everything. Memory loss? What memory loss? The one she had when she was a kid. She said you're helping her. Was that her excuse? Well, where are you going with this? That woman is not your wife. What do you, what do you mean she's not my wife? Take a look at this. She's pregnant? Your wife was pregnant, but not by you. Are you saying, are you saying my wife was cheating? Was cheating, my dear, was. Ruth, where are you going with this? When was the last time you spoke to your wife's parents? You know they don't get along, so I keep my distance. You're lost, Drew, and you need answers. That woman pretending to be your wife is actually your wife's sister. My wife is an only child. My wife doesn't have a sister. Your wife has a twin sister. Her name is Grace. This can't be. Think about it. She doesn't know anything about you. She doesn't even know who you are. Oh, how did you know? How did you know about this? I've said enough. If you don't believe me, just talk to Mrs. Elizabeth. She'll fill you in. Is this Mr. Kennett? Yes, who's this? It's Mercy's husband, Drew. You've got some nerve calling here. I know I don't call this often, but those are your daughter's wishes. All right, what do you want? I have a question I wanted to ask you. What do you want to know, Drew? Mercy, is, is she an only child? If you had been more of a family man, you'd know she has a twin. What is her, what is her twin's name? Grace, where are you going with this, Drew? Uh, do you mind if me and Mercy stop by later? You and who? Mercy, my wife. Drew, are you on drugs? I'm, I don't understand what you're saying. I'm, you haven't called us in years, and then you call us with that stupidity? I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Kennett, but I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Let's just say my daughter's in a better place and leave it at that. Do you mind if I call you back when Mercy get off work? What do you mean when Mercy gets off work? I know this might sound crazy, but uh, a friend of Mercy told me that she believes that Mercy's sister is pretending to be my wife. Grace? Grace is pretending to be your wife? Why? It's, it's stupid. I, I shouldn't believe her. Let me ask you this, Drew. When's the last time you saw your wife? This morning, before she went to work. Hold on a minute. Elizabeth? Yes? You gotta come in and hear this. What is it? Drew seems to think that Mercy is still alive. H how? That's what I want to find out. Drew, are you still there? Oh, yes, I'm here. So your wife left for work this morning, right? Yes, that's, that's what I said. Okay, Drew, I'm going to send you an address and I want you to meet me there now. Don't say anything to your wife, all right? 
Okay. All right. I can do that. Well, that explains all the flashy looks. Why would you be doing this? That's what I'm going to find out. What are you going to do? I'm going to go meet Drew. Okay. Hey, Mr. Kenneth. I'm glad you could make it. So, uh, why are we meeting at a cemetery? There's something I need you to see. Okay. See this grave here? Yeah. They want you to read what's on it. What is this? This is my daughter, Mercy. You had two daughters with the same name? No. Only one by that name, and she's dead. I don't understand. Your wife is dead, Drew. She died about a month ago. My wife is at work. Grace is at work. Is this a joke, man? Did, did Mercy put you up to this? I wish it was. Your wife died in a car accident. I'm what? sorry you had to find out this way. This, this game me, man. What are you saying to me, man? What are you saying, man? Your wife died in a car accident. Uh, why didn't anyone tell me this before? And, and, and why is Grace pretending to be my wife? That's what I'm trying to find out. This can't be no. Go home, Drew. This can't be. When Grace gets there tonight, I'll be there. I can't believe this. Mom? Dad? Why are you doing this? I didn't know how to tell you the truth. Where's my wife and why are you pretending to be her? Me and my sister made a deal to switch places. She paid me to be her while she went on a trip. A trip? Mercy was having an affair with Ben. They wanted to go on a trip, so she pays her sister to play her double until they got back. Is... is this true? How long were you trying to keep this up? I, did, I didn't know what to say. When she died, I panicked. Drew is such a nice guy. I just didn't want to see him get hurt. And you figured... This wasn't gonna hurt him? I mean, he couldn't say goodbye to his wife. The baby. Is it, is it Ben's baby? Yes. What baby? Mercy was pregnant when she died. How could, how could, how could you do this? Very sorry. I'm so sorry you had to find out like this. It's time to come home, Grace. I'll get my stuff. Drew, if there's anything that we can do for you, please don't hesitate to let us know. It's okay, that'll be fine. Would you like to stay the night with us? <laughs> I'll be fine. How long have you known about this? I tried to tell you several times. I just, 
I didn't know how to. That's a lie. You tried to blackmail me. She wanted me to pay her to keep quiet so she wouldn't tell me. I really am sorry for everything. If you have it in your heart, please forgive me. If there's anything that I can do, just, just let me know. It's okay. Come on, it's time to go. You know, I don't have any plans tonight. I could stay if you want. I'll be okay. I want to. Go home. Okay. No, that was a crazy thing you did. What were you thinking? You know, I'm 60 years old and I have never seen anything like this in my entire life before. I just don't understand. How could you think that this would be okay? This was Mercy's idea. Grace, you are better than that. Well, I needed the money, but I did not know that this would happen. God, Grace, this is awful to say something when Mercy died. Because Drew was nice. Are you in love with Drew? Grace, answer the question. It was just supposed to be a deal at first. I don't know. Did you have sex with him? Mom! Well, answer the question! I lived with him for three months, what do you think? Jesus! Forgive my child. What the fuck, Grace? This goes against everything we stand for. It's an abomination. I'm sorry. I messed up. I said I was sorry. I'd just like to know one thing. How long did you think you were going to be able to keep this up? What do you mean? We didn't find out. Were you ever going to tell Drew the truth? Maybe. Maybe? Did you just say maybe? So this is how you treat the people you love. You love Drew, but you keep hurting him. This was Mercy's idea. I don't hear you guys saying anything about her. Your sister is dead, Grace. She is dead. Yes, she made a mistake, but we can't talk to her about it. You know what? Fuck this. <gasps> You dare curse at me like that again. I am your mother, and you will respect me. You owe us an apology. I'm sorry. Can you take me to this address, please? Whose house is this? It's one of my friends. Grace, you really should be coming home. I will, I just need some time to myself. Okay. Please come home tomorrow. I will. What are you doing here? Are you gonna let me in? Yeah, sure, come in. So, uh, can, can I get you anything to drink or something? Or? No, I'm fine. So, what's going on? It's over. Yeah, my parents were there. It was bad. Shit. What'd they say? What do you think? Who is this? Why did she call you babe? John, what the hell? My name is Chloe. I'm John's girlfriend. 
Who are you? Girlfriend? What the hell? You were gone for four months. You didn't talk to me. What was I supposed to do? Hold on. Is this the ex-girlfriend you told me about? She's not my girlfriend. We went out a couple of times. Nothing happened. Can you just give us a little bit of privacy, please? Excuse me. This is my boyfriend, not yours. You need to get the fuck out. Make me. Grace, no. I got it. Chloe, can you just give us a minute, please? No, I'm not leaving. Look, why don't you go home and I'll call you in the morning. Are you kidding me? You're kicking me out? Over her? I'm not kicking anyone out. Please go home and I'll talk to you in the morning. I'm fucking believable. Christ, what the hell got into you? Sorry, I'm so frustrated. No! 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 Get out! Go now! Fuck you! You okay? Oh my god, that is how it's been the last few weeks. What the fuck just happened? That's the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. This is what it's been like for me the past two weeks. Can I, can I get you anything? Like some water or something? No. No, just... I just want to talk. Okay. Let's talk. I wanted us to start over. Are you sure? Yes, I am. You know, I don't drive a Bentley or own a Rolex. Boy, if you don't shut up. And I just got promoted at the grocery store. That money only brought me chaos. Okay. Let's start over. So what happened to your sister's husband? I don't want to talk about that. Okay. Just, I want to focus on us. Okay. Let's focus on us then. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, bro, I'm good. I want you to meet me downtown after work. What time? Uh, about six. All right, I'll see you there. Okay. All right. I'm telling you, you're gonna really like this one. Oh my god. So you brought me halfway across town for a petty date. Really, man? Aren't you tired of trying to hook me up? It's not gonna work. Man, I'm just trying to help. You seem like you're becoming a virgin to me. Really? <laughs> That's what you think? Man, it's been three years since your wife has passed. It's time to start over. That's none of your damn business. You know that, right? Come on, man. I don't care how good she look. I ain't ready until I'm ready. Dude, what's up, man? Drew. What's up, baby? What's up, boy? What's up, boy? That's right. Man, how's the foot coming along? 
Yeah, it's coming. It's coming together. That's what's up, man. I ain't seen you in a long time, man. What's up? What you been up to? How are you? I'm good. How was the drive? It was fine. Oh, good, good. There's somebody I want to introduce you to. Okay. Hey, Drew. Come for a second. There's somebody I want to introduce you to. Drew, Ashley, Ashley, Drew. Ashley. It is a pleasure meeting you. Same to you. So, uh, Logan was telling me that you were single. Unfortunately, yes, but I heard you were single as well. Not for long, actually. Not for long. You feel a little hungry. Do you mind if we grab something to eat? Is this a date? Hey, you better say yes. You got a yacht and a jet. <laughs> I have a jet too. Wait. Okay. Don't pay him no mind. How about we uh, get another date? Okay. Hey, what about us? Oh, it's like that, huh? Okay. Has anyone ever told you how beautiful you are? <laughs> you ain't got no twins, right? Yeah, leave your apple bottoms at home, baby. Yeah, get that banana boat wear, baby. Yo, mix master. I'm down to the side there. Yeah, Nice this 